X and Y intercepts are extremely important in your study of math. Before you can get into a good depth of algebra, you really need to understand the ideas of X and Y intercepts and how to find them both from a graph and from an equation. So what I have here is just like a really rough graph. I just drew a line up there. There's no numbers or anything. But what I wanted to show you is that when you're looking at a graph, you can find the Y intercept by looking on the Y axis and seeing where your line crosses it. That's the y-intercept, and the x-intercept is here. It's where your graph crosses the x-axis. I'm using int to abbreviate for intercept. When you think about the coordinates of this, on your y-intercept, it's going to be 0 for x, because I'm going 0 side to side, and then I'm going up some number y. I don't know what that number is on this particular graph, but your y-intercept is always when x is equal to 0. So if all you have was an equation, you would substitute in x equals 0 in order to find your y-intercept. Similarly, the value of the coordinates of the x-intercept are going to be some x value comma 0 for y. So if I have an equation and I'm asked to find the x-intercept, I would plug in y equals 0. Before I leave you guys, I want to tell you that one of the tricks with intercepts is remembering that to find the x-intercept, you let y equals 0. And to find the y-intercept, you let x equals 0. That's kind of tricky, but if you can keep it straight in your head, I think you guys will do great on these problems.